Lizard Island has one of the best marine research stations in the world. Biologists from all over the world come here to research the reef environment. Deploying the hydrophones underwater was like a nerdy ocean experiment for sure. The equipment we were working with is quite sensitive, so it's really nerve wracking to leave it out in the ocean, but they seemed pretty confident. They set it up intricately. Just the fact that you're taking audio equipment underwater was really interesting. So apparently, the sound a reef makes will actually determine how many fish want to come to that reef and settle on that reef. So the louder and the healthier a reef sounds, fish coming from out at sea at the start of their life will hear that and be drawn to it. These are two recordings I took on the same reef. So before the bleaching event, um, that reef sounded like this. So you can hear there's a lot of crackle, a lot of activity. And then after the bleaching event hit, it sounded like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can see big that. Big difference. Yeah, big, big difference we could hear. And that's because the animals aren't there anymore. As the coral bleaches, the whole ecosystem starts to die. Fewer animals mean less noise and it's quieter. So we can use the sound of a reef to tell us about its overall health. So what's the deal with coral? Is it left out of the sound part or does it affect it just like with fish? If you take a coral planula and you play it the sound of a healthy reef, it will sense that with the hairs on the outside of it and it will change shape so that it sinks rather than floating. And so we suspect that might be a response to that sound. You know, the, the coral has heard a reef, understood that it's near a reef and has started to sink and settle. So it's possible that even these coral are using the sounds of the reef as that a cue for settlement. That is amazing. So an entire ecosystem can literally survive or fail based on the sounds. As a kid diving on the reef, you always remember the sound of the reef. And I always just assume that it's, you know, the, the stereotypical parrotfish chomping at the coral. But there's so much more than that. This is another sort of knocking sound. This is a fish called a reef croaker. So quite a deep sort of pulsing sound. Yeah. It's playing its swim bladder almost like a drum. Uh, and these ones are quite fun. These fish, I have no idea what they are. So we've recorded these with our hydrophones, but we can't work out what fish they are. It could be anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt, that is it? so cool. So with your equipment, you're literally like a fish whisperer. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good one yet, but we're learning. <laughs> I have a little more love for fish after this, now that I know that they can click and grunt and laugh at each other. Mm -hmm. 